Hello and welcome to the Tie This Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and today we're going to do something a little different. Over the last year, we've gotten some questions that people want answered in podcasts, but the answers are too short to make a whole podcast. So I'm going to put all of them together and answer them in a single podcast. Today I'm going to answer 10 questions on terminal units in under 5 minutes, or as fast as I can draw them. So here we go in no particular order. Question 1. How much do the terminal units weigh? Well, it depends, but you can find out on our website. Let me show you how. So let me go to my browser and open titus-hvac.com. And down here under Frequently Asked Questions, click that, and you can see TU weights is at the top. TU stands for terminal unit. And it'll open a PDF with the weights. So those are the ESVs, MDVs, TFSs, and so on. And you can see they're by size. 20 gauge or 22 gauge, whether it has water coils, accessories, that sort of thing. So you can add all of those up and know what your box is going to weigh. Okay, let's get rid of this. Question two, how do I know the hand of a VAV box? If you're looking into the supply air inlet of a VAV box, the side that the control box is on is the hand of the box. So let's say we're looking at the flow cross here, your controls here over on the right, this is a right hand box. And if your controls were over on the left here, this would be a left hand box. There's actually a full podcast on this, so go watch that for more information. Question three, what is a PIU? PIU stands for Powered Induction Unit. This is basically another name for a fan box. Question four, what is the diameter of our damper shaft? Our damper shafts are one half inch. Question number five, what is FMA? FMA stands for factory mount authorization. It's the process where the controls contractors send our factory their controls to mount and wire on the terminal units before they ship. Question number six, where can I get the wiring diagram for my box? The wiring diagrams are on the inside cover of all of our control boxes. But you can also find them online. So let's open up the web page again. Under the resources menu, you'll see FMA wiring diagrams. Clicking on it will open the FMA wiring diagram page in another tab or window. And you'll see a long list of wiring diagrams by controller, by model. You can narrow down the list by selecting a controller or a manufacturer. Let's select this controller, and you'll see the list narrows down, and then you can find the diagram you want. So let's click on this one, and you'll see it opens up a wiring diagram. Now let's close this, and let's go on to number seven. What's the difference between ECM motor and an EC motor? They both refer to electronically commutated motors. Originally, the ECM motor was developed, patented, and trademarked by GE. During this time, we started putting them on fan boxes, and the name ECM is stuck with fan boxes. But later, other manufacturers started making the motor, but they couldn't use the name, so they called them EC motors. So GE motors, which are now Gentech motors, are still called ECM, and everyone else's are called EC, but they're similar technologies. Question number eight. How do I know the damper position? At the end of our damper shaft, there is an indicator arrow stamped into the shaft that shows you the position. So the arrow is like this. It means the damper is in this position. On to question nine. What direction does the damper rotate to close? The damper rotates clockwise to close and counterclockwise to open. And finally, question 10, which is the water coil supply inlet? The water coil supply inlet is always the bottom of the water coil on a terminal unit. This allows for the removal of air bubbles in the water. So there you go, 10 quick terminal unit questions answered in almost exactly five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking a time out with us.